cabin by the sea. Well, I stepped down from forever to this cabin by the sea where I thought I'd take a look around and make a home for me. After crossing many oceans, after sailing endless waves, it seemed a good idea to unwind and live my days, relaxing in this cottage here where I could settle in and take in views of scenery I may never see again, but not too far from beaches where I know I'll soon set sail to head back out to the ocean a voyage I'd be remiss to curtail. But I had this thought, this notion, that I'd come here for a break, to land on earth and shores where my sweet time I'd gladly take, to relax and rest my sails until my time down here is through, when I once again embark on seas just past time's Waterloo where I'll know again the freedom of an ocean with no end, where I'll sail beyond these boxes of all this what and where and when. But I didn't know the limits of this life on ocean shore would be close to this demanded. I thought I'd see and know much more. But the view from these small windows doesn't cover much terrain. Rains and winds keep pounding across each tiny window pane. And the roof, it seems, needs fixing. And the weeds get overgrown around the door, the entrance to this my humble haven home. But I'm learning to be gentle to this place provided me. With good care of this my dwelling, I may yet relax, be quite able to enjoy it as though it were a lasting place, however crammed and crowded it can feel in time and space. So I'll take in what I can here, what I see and what I feel. Though I know deep down within me there are many more worlds more real than this cabin can afford or every view from here include. But I'll smile and wave to neighbors while I keep a tad subdued. But I'll count up every blessing, even on this tiny sphere, and I'll make the best of burdens that are part of living here that when the time for sailing comes again to capture me, I'll just count it one more blessing to leave my cabin by the sea.